A little message to Southampton Football Club. Um, you're after a new manager. You know, I know you're a big fan of the channel. And, you know, I know that Southampton's nickname is the Saints... So, you know, I know all the history of the club. It's down south. Just offer me the job. Give us a call. You know, email me. Tweet me. You know, my DMs are open. All right? Yeah? Yeah? I'm ready. I'm ready for the next step up. Salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode 28 of the Journeyman Save. Operation Don't Fuck It Up As Much As Last Episode is a go. So sound is on. Recording is on. I'm not listening to anything else. We're all good, right? Minor wanking injury. It's okay. Um, so after the last game against Liège, we beat Sunderland 5-1. Rougier, first real game where he's shone. Two goals and an assist. Nijland with a brace. Ted Hesp with the other goal. We then beat Tottenham 4-0. Hocker with a hat-trick. Nijland chipping in as well. And then bloody Wolves. Bloody, bloody Wolves, who I can't seem to beat ever. 0-0 draw. And then we played brilliantly against Chelsea. It was only 1-0 with Hocker goal, but it was absolute domination. 13 shots on target. Neil Whittle kept him in the game. Apparently he made 10 saves, but only got a 7.1. So, you know, unfortunate. Today, I wanted to... I was going to show you the Chelsea game, but I wanted to show you the... Because um, it's about we're about to hit New Year and the transfer window opening. And for a couple of reasons. Firstly, we've got a couple of signings coming in. A couple of those youngsters that we bought, like, two years ago. I've, I haven't looked at them, so they might be shit by this point. But And also... There's rumours that we might win or have a chance of winning some of the big awards at the end of the year. So, Hocker, come on, man. You're the man. Right, so, who are we playing? Derby County, 19th. Then we're playing Swansea, who are doing well in 9th. Okay, so first off, uh, Varsamas is suspendalo. Velasco, uh, rest him another game. I think we can afford to rest him. DJ Khaled's a bit tired, so Kevin De Jong can come in. Don't want to change two things up. The The front three are ridiculous. 15 for Ted Hesp in 17 starts. 26 for Hocker in 25. And 16 in 20 for Nidgeland. I can't drop them. I'm sorry, Miami Vice and Barker. I just can't drop these guys at the, mo at the moment. The Dutch masters are proving their name's worth and doing fantastically well. So, come on, boys. Sip of tea for luck. With, I think with six games unbeaten, seven games unbeaten at the moment, they're going for a classic 4-4-2 tactic. Did we own any of their players? Don't think so. Right, we are favourites here. Okay, good team talk, Owen. Completely nothing happened on the team talk. We'll take that, Owen. It's learning the trade, still learning the trade. Right, we should just smash these guys and move on to the next game. That's the plan. I reckon Hocker's in with a chance of winning Ballon d'Or this year. There's there's a chance. He has been ap he came third last year. He's been on absolute fire this year. He's got to be up there unless there's some other player that's just had a spectacular season. Then I th I think we've got a chance. That's I think that was a shot. Okay. Um different is the highlight continuing. Looks like it. We're going to get a very early highlight. Rougier Hess feeds the Hocker. Cuts it back to Nidge. Nidge slots it in in the bottom corner. That's number 17 of the season. Beautiful Nidge. Just sensational player. He's played pretty much everywhere in that front three. He just doesn't seem to matter. He just seems to score lots of goals. Hocker with an unselfish little cutback. Goalkeeper. He sort of dived but didn't go to the side. He did like a stationary dive thing, which is an impressive skill in and of itself. Okay, but a Derby going to hit back straight away? No, they're not, because the mighty Welshie cut it out. Like, Nidge land with it this time. Ooh, he's just dribbled into two, but Welsh blocks the pass. Cheeky. Denez dinks one over the top. He's there. Takes a lovely touch. <laughs> Great save with his feet. And we're we're pressuring them already. This this could be a biggie. Come on, let's let this one be a big scoreline. Hesp with the corner. Plays it to the edge of the area. Hit Hocker picks it up. Deflected cross goes into the grateful hands of Granger, who hoofs it out, and we can 
another long highlight. Okay, this could be a long old game, people. Sit back. Oh, Jesus. Oh, do oh no. Oh, no. No. No game. Angle. It's Kurt Angle. Just leave it. Just leave it. Leave it. Okay. Olaf Melbourne. <laughs> oh. Stephen Davies. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's still playing. Okay. What I thought was going to be a thrashing, they've scored with their first shot. Uh, deflected cross. Davies with a, just a tap in. I'm still confident. That was their, that was their one shot. Okay. Good. Denez picks it up. Don't do this game. Mahmood to Hocker. Still got it. Welshie. Hesp. Dinks it out to Mahmood, who's been brilliant form recently. Mahmood. Pings it in. Keeper. Easy. Too easy. Got to pull it back a bit. With the, Oh. oh. <laughs> I love it in real life when a goalkeeper does that. And the defenders are quite surprised. And they're like, shit, shit. Bit of panic. It's all right. All right. Hesp. Ugh, that was that was dirty. Okay, this is we get some long ass highlights, people. There's Welshy, beautiful, beautiful goal, and Nijland finishes it off. That was a lovely bit of passing, triangles, rhombuses, squares, all sorts of different shapes there. That's it. That's all the circles. Although, how would you do a circle? In a, you need a lot of players to do a proper circle. Lovely pass from Hocker there. Nijland slots it in. And it's 2-1. Okay, we're back on track, people. Ignore that goal that they scored. We're back on track. Two assists for Hocker. Ballon d'Or. Winner. 2000 and whatever the fuck year we're in. Ah, not the best free kick. I have put Brad Kitching on free kicks. He's not on the pitch. But if he was, he'd be taking free kicks. Because he scored a number of free kicks in his time. Okay, don't go and score another equaliser. That would be a little bit embarrassing. Teddy Hesp now, bit of space. Finds Nidgeland, looking for his hat-trick. Turns his man. Oh, that was definitely a foul of some sort. Shirt pull, we'll go. You know, grabbed his ass. Something went wrong there. Hespy, can he find the Nidge? Feed the Nidge. Good interception for Majewski. The centre-back partnership is superb this season. Those two guys. All right, Dijon plays it across a tap-in for Hocker. There it is, number 27. Woohoo! All my Dutch masters have now turned 32. <laughs> it's good because the thought of having to replace those three guys if I carried on for, say, another three, three years or whatever is going to be scary thought of how much money that will cost to replace those three guys. So I'm glad we're just ending it before I have to worry about that stuff. Right, we'll just play them all until they're 35 and it'll all be good. Right, here we go. Nidgeland. Inside to Welsh. De Jong's on the overlap, but Hesp takes it inside. Plays it to Nidge. Oh, he's looking for the hat-trick. Hocker turns. We know he's got a left peg on him. Saved. Nidgeland with the tap in. It's his hat-trick. It's 4-1. Number 19. It's 30 minutes gone. We are dismantling Derby. Lovely stuff. Hocker's there. I thought he was going to score one of his wonder goals again. It's a decent save by Granger. Got a, got a palm to it, but not enough. Nidgeland pounced on it. Ah, there we go. Just sit back and enjoy, boys. Sit back and enjoy. I've been thinking about what we're going to do for the next series. So I've got one more. I'm going to do one more series before, obviously, we, Teddy Hess, not to be forgotten. There's number 16. Um... I want... Yeah, so I've got one more big series before FM18 comes out. And my my original... I've got two big sort of plans. Um, one is... I'm not going to tell you in detail because I don't want anybody to nick it. But it, another time... I was going to do a different type of journeyman. Um, with sort of very special rules and stuff like that. But what I'd rather um, do... I think everybody's doing a journeyman this like now it feels like everybody's doing a journeyman now and generally speaking the way I play the game is to pick a team a little team in lower leagues and then work my way up and and see what we can do so 
it's either going to be like a, a more standard one. We'll make it fun and we'll put some twists on it, but it might be a more sort of standard save and take maybe a tiny little team and see if we can get them all the way to the top. Oh, I'm lucky. Um, or there is one other thing that's going to require... I can't tell you anything about it because it's never been remotely done. I might save that for FM18 because I need to do a shit ton of work and I'm just so fucking busy at the moment that I'm not sure if I can. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Like, if those that you... Obviously, you can't pick that option. You've got no clue what it is. But would you go for um, another sort of journeyman with some different rules? Or would you prefer maybe just taking a, you know, a conference south side or something a bit normalist? And then go for, like, journeyman next year. Do another, you know, do one journeyman and one something else every year. Let me know your thoughts um, in the comments. I'd really appreciate it because I'm in very much in two minds at the moment. Right, good header on. Easy for Cilia, though. You've got to do better there, mate. They've actually come into it in the second half. At least they're making a fight of it, which they need to do because they're 19th in the league. Um, do we want to bring on... Yeah, give Neil Wells a bit of time. Right, Nidgeland. Welsh. Dinks one over. He's onside, I think. Oh, oh, that's the turn we're talking about. That swivel it seems to be his trademark. The swivel left peg is ridiculous how quickly he does that. Welsh with a lovely dink over the top. Look at this. Oh, how is he doing it? How does he do that? <laughs> I like to just do that once on a five-a-side pitch. Just once, I'd be happy with it. There it is. It's six-one. They came into it a bit the second half. Maybe we've taken the foot off the pedal, but it will do nicely. All right, Dijon. I don't know why you got booked for persistent fouling. We're six-one up, mate, and it's the ninetieth minute. Probably unnecessary. All right, there it is. We won't skip the in between the games because I want to see if we win. Some of our players win something. There it is, boys. And see our new players that we bought years ago. Oh, Harry. Harry. I've, I've trusted him too much. I've stopped reading what he suggested. He said, don't say anything. Here's the league table. It's only a point behind Man United. We're battling with Chelsea. It's going to be a close one. There's a four-point gap over Man City and then, uh, Man, uh, then Arsenal and then a massive gap to Cardiff. So we've already down to five teams, basically, that can win the league this year. Six of the best. Um, Hocker catches two goals, three assists. So let's go for your passing. Let's mix it up. <laughs> You're expecting it. So we've got Diallo and Lodi. I think I def Lodi's definitely a striker. I I'm not sure about Diallo. We'll find out. We'll find out. Are we going to win awards? Come on, Ballon d'Or. I don't think you know Hocker's 32 now. Next year might be tricky. Uh, okay, you're running out. You're running out. I'm just going to let you run out. I think you're 32 now. He's still very good. We'll wait. I think we can afford to wait. Um, yep, yeah, you can go out on loan. Right. 4 0 to Arsenal, as expected. Yeah, I don't think he. I'm not. I'm not excited about either of these two. I remember checking them out about a year ago and they haven't developed as much as one had hoped. <laughs> it's quite fun signing players that you forget about and then you just get little bonuses. Um, what have we got? Leeds United. Uberfule. No, you're not having Uberfule. Walk off. He's a decent prospect. He could be a decent sixth choice right back in the future if we're lucky. Right. Um, signing wise, probably won't do anything. And, let, and we're only going to sign players if someone leaves. It, we get a stupid bid for someone or something like that, I think. Otherwise, we won't do it. Okay. So, Ali Kone won World Player of the Year. Hocker came third again. That's not on, that is. Look, third last year. Where, did he. No. Both years I've had him, he's. God damn it. We know he's a good left midfielder, Ali Coney. He was superb. <sighs> I thought we would have it. I thought we were going to have it. 
To be fair, they've both been very good, haven't they? 42 games, 9 goals, 29 assists. But, you know, 50 games, 12 goals, 24 assists. Hocker's got 51 games, 40 goals and 23 assists. I've... <laughs> I think he deserved it. I'm massively biased, obviously. Okay, we're in the World Team of the Year. Nidgeland! Nidgeland is in the World Team of the Year. Fantastic. So is Hocker. So is Sombrero. So is De Jong. Not bad, my friends. Uh, oh, Has won the African Promising Footballer of the Year Award. Do you want to just call it Young Footballer of the Year Award? Excellent. Good for you, mate. Happy for you. Um... African 11 of the year, Mahmoud. Um, North American player of the year, Velasco. Decent. Um, French young player of the year. Oh, Rougier got third. Was not expecting that one. Uh, Mahmoud. Oh, Moussa Yao, another one of our ex-players. Nice. Got second place. Good. Good for you. Um, I'm disappointed though, peeps. I'm disappointed. I like the way they call it Ballon d'Or there, but not in the other bit. Okay, let's have a look at these. Oh, these signings are going to be amazing. <laughs> no, let's not get too excited. Right, didn't even win manager. Fuck you. Yeah. Bloody Arsenal manager. Right, here we go. Two big guns joining us. I think they might be both strikers. I don't think either of them are very good. We might make some cash, though. From them. I don't think either were expensive from what I recall. Alright. Let me just wait for the fucking game to sort itself out. Talk amongst yourselves. Here we go. Here we go. Right. I'm quite looking forward to these two. We've got AFC Wimbledon again as well in the FA Cup third round. It's good to it's it's sad that we're knocking out AFC Wimbledon again, but they should own you know, make a decent amount of money from it. Sadly, it's it's at home. Oh, that's good, isn't it? It's our home, so they're away, so they get match lots of gate receipts. Brilliant. Okay, there it is. Let's just... Uh, uh, Lorenzo so easy on my shortlist. Okay, here we go, people. Okay, four-star potential, three-and-a-half star. I'll take that. Two 18-year-old strikers... Okay, one. Oh, I spent a lot of money on these, didn't I? Two million and four and a half million. The fans liked it though, so that's good. All right, we got Martino Lodi, French, eighteen-year-old. Okay, bit of tutorage. Oh, oh, you're gonna get good now, mate. You got the big daddy of them all. <clears throat> What's his uh, determination like? Twelve. Yeah, we'll soon fix that, mate. Don't worry about it. Okay. Target man. He's valued at 8.5 million. So that's not too bad. Bargain. I'm a genius. And the last one. Who, four and a half million. Seth Diallo. Ooh. Hello, Diallo. Ghanaian. Eight, 11 caps, 9 goals. 11 million pounds. This guy's not bad, is he? Okay, that was actually a decent purchase. Well done, me. Pat on the back. Got a bit of first team football as well, and he got nice. Hmm. Hmm. I like it very much. We might. I think we'll loan him out because he's ready for first team football. Um, we'll just put him on the loan. Let's see what. Uh, with Lottie, we'll keep him at the club. He's not quite as far developed, so we'll keep him at the club and uh, get him, get him tutored, improve him. Right, board is oh the board. I've also signed a brand new five-year contract with Liverpool. Very nice. I didn't even check my wages. How much? How much? Wait, what's my, my contract on? Fifty-five grand. You know it'll do. You know scraping by. Um, little do they know I'm quitting in two and a half years. But shh, don't tell them that. Um, okay. Do we change anything really? Who are we playing? Swansea are a decent mid-table side now. So we won't go crazy if we do make changes. Um, we'll give Rougier and Denez another game, I think. Um, we'll keep... I can't, I can't drop any of them. Ted Hesp, maybe, but I can't. I can't drop the Dutch Masters. They are undroppable at the moment. 
I think we'll just keep going until one of them drops off form or, or maybe like a, a, an injury or somebody needs a rest. Right, they're going for another 4-4-2. Uh, pick up where you left off, says the Owen. Here we go. Right, so anybody else playing today of any interest? Man City are playing Hull away. Um, that's it of the big boys, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, put the pressure on then. Put the pressure on. Oh, oh, corner early. Teddy Hesp floats onto the back post. So many Swansea players around him, though. Decent, decent. Oh, nobody read that at all. <laughs> oh, it's deflected. Hocker. Oh, Draddy. Oh, look, they've fucking put a Swansea thing over my McCohen burger sign. How rude. How dare you? I paid a lot of money for that sponsorship. What well, Owen did. All right. Mahmood. No. Brilliant. Come on. We want back to back nice wins. <clears throat> I'm tempted. I'm tempted to do only one more season after this rather than two more seasons after this season. Because we're at that point now. Oh, that's a dreadful finish. We're at that point now where we're kind of smashing a lot of teams. Um, I really want to win like the Premier League and the Champions League. That would be amazing. And maybe just give ourselves one more season to do it as opposed to two more seasons. Um, that the, that's, means we still get Hess, Pocker and Nidgeland at their best. They'll be 33. Still really, really good. Because just generally speaking, I don't find it quite as interesting when we're, when we're at this level, especially with transfers, because the transfers is all about just pissing stupid amounts of money up the wall to sign these amazing players. So let me also, you know, as well as whether we should do a one club save or a journeyman, let me know. Should we do just one more season? and put Because that would be fun because it will put the pressure on ourselves. We have to win the league, Champions League, either this year or next year. We've got two chances to win each. But let me know what you think. Don't concede after me doing that big speech. Oh, my God. Did he save that? Oh, what a clearance from Majewski. We could counter here. Go on, son. This is good. Rougier. Go on. Denez. He just ran straight into him. Oh, it was a ploy. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It's blind leading the blind, those two at the moment. Okay, we are not playing well. <laughs> hmm? They're playing a 4-4-2. That's not an unusual formation. I'm hoping second half comes good. We might bring on the big guns in centre midfield just to shore it up. Rouget and Dinez didn't look quite on the same wavelength, did they? Okay, Teddy Hesp with a free kick, though. Can he end? Oh, it's a stunning free kick from Teddy Hesp. That'll do, mate. Break their hearts just before half time. Break their spirits. Lovely. It's a good free kick. Decent distance out as well. Curves it around the two man wall. He probably should have had more than two men in that wall. It wasn't that far out. Okay. Um, I'll bring on one of them, I think. Well, I've only got one of them on the bench, so that made my mind up for me. Right. Uh, for Rougier. Actually, no. I'll move Rougier to the left and Velasco in the middle. Like I said before, the, one of the main reasons I bought Rougier was because he can play centre mid, advanced playmaker and box to box. He's pretty good at all of them. So you can just slot him in where you like. It's lovely. It's like a really easy game of Tetris. Right, need a second goal though, peeps. That's a good interception for Velasco. Fresh legs. He's he's had a nice couple of games off. Go on, find the Hesp. Go on, Teddy. Easy. No, Teddy. No. Oh no, Teddy. What was that, Teddy? Right. If we don't win this now, it's your fault, Ted. That's a lovely ball through from Nidgeland. Hocker gets there, waiting for support. Velasco plays it into Ted. Can he make up for that fuck up? Rouget dinks it to Mahmoud, cross it across, tap in for Hocker, number 29 for the Hockster. Everybody's walking into the net to applaud the Swansea fans, lovely. That's a lovely pass that from Rouget, just dug it out. As soon as he got that cross in, that was a nice easy tap in. Just needed to find the cross, 
Another assist for Mahmood. We all knew it was going to be a good signing, and that's proved the case. Right. Oh, it's a great tackle from Sombrero. Oh, and then we've just got in each other's way, but he's cleared it. Okay, that'll do. He's got a bit of panicky there. Majewski. Majewski and Sombrero are amazing. I knew they were good when we signed them, but they're proving to... Oh, fucking hell. They're proving to be very, very good. They're going to fuck it up now, aren't they? Oh, look at that space. Look at the space. Stop him with the space. Come on. Stop the cross. Yes, the Jong. Get in there, mate. Rides the tackle as well. Well, she. It's getting a bit closed in. Manages to just about find... Oh, okay. Yeah, played for. Cheeky. Hocker. Oh, there's the first time bullet shot. We know and love from Hocker. Right foot this time. Number 30 of the season. We've, we're January the 1st, people. And he's hit 30 goals. Mental. Look at this. First time. Just lets him run across him. And then just hams it. Straight at the goalkeeper. But it was so hard. If he'd caught it, he just would have fallen into the back of it anyway. All right. Lovely. Lovely. No need to make any subs because I've kind of left it too late. Yes, I saw they put up a good fight then. I was quite surprised. It's first half especially. But in the end, our superior players, tactics and manager and assistant manager shone through. And it's a nice comfortable three. And another clean sheet. We'll, have to, we'll look at the goal difference in a minute because I want to check out how we're doing on goal difference compared to last year. Good solid win. Well done. Well done. We are top of the league. Yes. Oh, Man United have already played. If Chelsea win, they're... Oh, it's in our hands, my friends. That's all we could ask for. All right. So let's have a look at the... Oh, we've draw, uh, drawn uh, Benfica in the uh, Champions League. Let's have a look what the hell we did. So, last season, we scored 90... Letting 54. This season so far, just over halfway, and we've only let in 20. Yeah, so that's much better. So if we carry on like that, we're going to... About 37, so that's almost 20 better. And score. we could score over 100 goals here. We're, we are on well on for 100 goals this season. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I like it. We, I think the biggest thing for me is just to not have one of those bloody dips of form you know i guarantee if you've played football manager for any length of time you've all had it where just form goes out the window for, and you and there's no reason why it's just one of those things you might have a bad result and then it just sort of snowballs into a bad run of four or five games so um, that's what we need to avoid because all the other big teams are doing well this season that you know they're not losing a massive amount of games here so it we can't have a bad patch okay we just can't right there we go my friends let me know about the save and how long we should go in the comments below thank you very much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new i'll see you in the next one Bye -bye.